Welcome, my dear family. I'm going to share from my heart a struggle I have every single day of my life. It is like a threatening dark cloud over my head, ready to break loose with torrents of rain and wash my life away. Overwhelm me. Where is this coming from? The adversary and his minions. Here is what the Lord has to say to all of you who suffer from this cloud. Jesus began, I love you and I am for you, not against you. You've been hearing the hammering of the demons to demoralize you. Sometimes you catch rare glimpses of who you are to me, but mostly you live in a sewer and a pit of condemnation. There's always something, Claire, to bring you down and turn you inward, making it impossible for you to think as you rightly should. You are becoming a leader in my church, and the devil hates your ever-living guts. He wants nothing more than to put an end to you by your own hand. So he presents constantly an image of who he wants you to be, not at all who you are. This is why you are struggling and feel incompetent. These are all 24-hour-a-day narratives of who he wishes you to be and who you were before you gave your life to me. These narratives have caused you to see yourself as feeble and inept. When you feel a certain way about who you are, You tend to act in accordance with that image of yourself, losing the vision of who you truly are to me. Then you feel inadequate and want to throw off or forget about all the graces I have instilled in you, secretly calling yourself a failure. This is how he wants to take you down. Lord, I have no idea on how to combat that because I know my stuff. But you have many good and sparkling qualities as well, which are obscured from you by the devil's version, which constantly projects to you degrading thoughts of yourself, making you out to be dingy, shallow, lackluster, and a counterfeit wannabe. How do I overcome this, Lord? Beloved, it is very, very simple. Look deeply into my eyes, your heavenly husband's eyes, and behold the reflection you see there. That is your true identity. And until you embrace that fully, you will be far below who I created you to be. You have the raw materials, the makings of a saint. If only you could keep your eyes focused on my vision of you. You are being oppressed and pressured into a false mold of failure to destroy your destiny. I need you to totally disengage from that narrative and refocus on my eyes, which will reveal to you who you truly are. You were beset with curses from many covens around the world, but they are no match for me and my angels. That is why I ask you to refrain from the Internet and keep your eyes on me, staying out of the world. We have made great progress there. My brides, I have cast a mold of greatness for you all to fill, and the adversary is 24-7 trying to drill holes into it so you will waste graces and lose the beautiful form I fashioned for you. The answer to this is simple. Behold yourself in my eyes. When you look into my eyes, you come to know the love and admiration. Yes, I did say admiration the love and admiration I have for you. You are superbly beautiful in my eyes, 
because you have abandoned all the glories of the world just to have a crucified Jewish carpenter for a husband, a husband you can't always hear and see and touch. Yes, I am beautiful to you, resurrected, but even more so when I open my arms wide to pay for your sins and you courageously embraced me as your one true love, leaving behind all the riches of this world and the glory that accompanies it. So now I want to address this concocted, sabotaging image your enemies have projected into your minds. I want you to consciously meditate on my eyes. Even if you have to get an image of me that you connect with, and place it before you. When you come into prayer, this is who you are to me. Just a side note, I wanted to mention Jesus painted an image of himself through me that I really relate to, and it's on our website, heartdwellers.org. He continued, When you come into prayer, behold an image of me, or look into my eyes and feel the love and the admiration I have for you. Soak that in. Let it feed your heart and mind until the image you have of yourself is the same as the image I have of you. I will be there to assist you. My beloved brides, you are indeed very beautiful and extraordinary in my eyes, and you ravish my heart.